Hey what's going on guys, this is Almfrost by HD here and I am bringing you back with another TE14 update video and this one's going to be about desert temples and desert pyramids. So the reason why we're making a video on this is because 4J Studios tweeted out a tweet saying that um, TE14 update is going to be based on the Minecraft 1.3.1 update which the pyramids and stuff were in there as long as the jungle temples and the villages and the trading and stuff like that. So I'm going to be making a video on every single one of those things and explaining them very well so people know what's going to be in TU14 and know for sure. So this is most likely going to be in it for 100% it's going to be in there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here's an overview of the pyramid and what it looks like. Pretty cool looking. Some people call it temple, some people call it pyramid. So it doesn't matter what you call it. So let's go ahead and go in there and show you the inside and the loot you get from it so it's built up all right as you see it looks really cool in here like a temple looking thing with cheese with sand stone blocks and everything but the real treasure is down here so what you want to do is you want to break, break one of these orange blocks not the blue one as you see there's a pleasure plate down here and what this pressure plate activates is TNT nine pieces of TNT which will blow up all your loot and probably we can kill you if you don't have the right armor so you want to make sure you avoid that pressure plate and so your loot doesn't blow up so there's four chests in here loot which is really really good so you want to make sure that you don't land that pressure plate and ruin it as by breaking this blue thing you would have landed on the pressure plate so I'll break the, one of the oranges and then come in here so as you see the chest has loot as this one has diamonds uh, six rotten flesh, seven rotten flesh, four bones and three iron ingots this second chest has gold ingots three rotten flesh, six rotten flesh, four rotten flesh, five ingots, and another ingot. The other chest has four bones, golden ingots, more ingots, iron ingots, and more iron ingots with some more rotten flesh. And the last chest has some more gold ingots, some rotten flesh, and some more bones. So as you see, that was a really good loot right there. As you see, I got two diamonds. And overall, what I've got was 22 gold ingots, 13 iron ingots, 13 bones, 2 diamonds, and 36 run flesh, which is a really good start in helping if you really don't want to go strip mining for diamonds. Those 2 diamonds are ready for a diamond sword. So it really over helps you out. It's real easy to just to go in there and do it. And you want to make sure you avoid the TNT trap. It's the only trap in there. The jungle has 2 traps in there, which are just shooting bows at you, which you can take the bows, and it's all helpful. So as you see, there's a village right here. This is also going to be coming into U14. I'm going to make a separate video just on this. So if you enjoyed this video and if you want me to make more, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So I know that I should keep keep up these videos and keep making TU14 news. So this is I'm Frost by HD and I am out. Peace.